Hey guys, good morning. Okay, well, this is my tent here and I was gonna take you inside and show you my bedroll. I know a couple of you are curious about it, so let's go check it out. Okay, so this is a bedroll, Ellis Canvas. He's the one who makes this tent. The tent's called a Shackleton. This is my bedroll. And when we're looking at it, it is a canvas cover. You can see I have a couple uh, clothes over here. I like to throw something on my feet to put a little weight so that my toes don't get cold at night. But hold on, let me set the camera down, get a position here. I didn't bring a tripod up here and I'm just filming with my cell phone, but I wanted to share some of this with you. As I said, I generally sleep with a jacket or something on the end, on the foot of the bed to keep the sleeping bag tight around my feet so they don't get cold at night, just so there's not a lot of cold air in there. <clears throat> so that's why those are there. This here is a Ellis Canvas bedroll, and there are different versions, different models. Uh, actually, this model behind me, that's my husband's bedroll. It's different than mine. His is a little older. I zip mine up whenever I am not in it, just to keep spiders and sticks and dirt. I mean, you can see no matter what, when you're camping, you're going to get sticks and dirt, but it helps to keep it clean if you zip it up when you get out. So I will zip it down a little ways when I'm sleeping in it. Depending how cold it is, I will either zip it just slightly or completely unzip it and roll that whole canvas back. So if it were a hot summer day, I would just throw that down, get it out of the way. In cold temperatures, it really helps to keep you warm. This sleeping bag I've had for years. We got it uh, and on a pinch. It's a Cabela's? Yeah, it's a Cabela's bag. I don't even remember what it's rated to, but it was on sale and super inexpensive. And I think I just had points and blue points on getting this bag. I have a mummy bag, which I gave to my daughter when she was really little. And so then I got this and figured I'd go get something better when time came around or when I had a minute and it's done great. So I haven't got anything since then. Inside here, I have two small pillows one of them is a, kind of firm and one of them is really squishy soft and i have two different ones because just depending how i'm sleeping i i've mentioned in exercise videos about um hips when you're sleeping and i will put a pillow between my knees to keep my hips from over extending flexing out so i have those I, and when i roll this bedroll up these are inside of there so the pictures i showed you of the bedroll those pillows are in there the sleeping bag you pull that back there's this liner here it keeps my air mattress inside i have a slit cut to make the valve easier to get to this is a one-way valve and so this is the one you will use to put air in and then there's a release valve here at the top that i can just pop that and release the air and i'm releasing it because today i'm rolling up camp so to put this air mattress in there you do it through the foot of the bed. I'm not gonna take it out because kind of like um, people take their covers off of easy ups when they pack them up. You don't need to take everything apart when you do stuff. Just keep it assembled. And oh, I have a sleeping bag liner under here right now. This is a sleeping bag liner, it's a fleece. You can get one of these to help keep you warm when it's super cold. Although there's, I mean, my, my water here was icy this morning. It, it wasn't cold enough to need a liner, but this I always keep inside my bedroll. I usually keep it alongside and I just keep it there in case I need it. The slope here, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this ground wasn't very flat. So I put it under my bedroll to prop me up and keep me from sliding down while I'm sleeping at night. So that's something that you can do. I'm done. Gonna, yeah. Flatten that out. Zip up my sleeping bag so that it folds really well. Or so that it rolls up really well. So when you're filling up your bed, you can pack this bed roll, have the air mattress. You can use that valve, this um, one-way valve I showed you. You can fill it up with your own air. <laughs> um, but at 11,000, 12,000 feet, it gets tiring real fast. So you can bring a little air pump. This one's an Ozark Trail. 
and then just pump it up. For these, you don't even need these tips. We leave them on there just in case you need them for something else. But just pop that tip in there. It actually holds in the valve. See there, it's nice and tight and you just pump up. And in no time, you're gonna be full. It's not gonna fill up right now because I just released that open valve. And whenever you have an air mattress, always check to make sure the other valve is closed before you start pumping because I know it's happened to everybody. You start pumping here and you're like, why isn't it filling up? It's because the other valve is open. And don't forget the little pillows. If you ever forget your pillow, the jacket will work in a pinch. And throw this in there. <clears throat> and then we'll roll that right up. So the bed roll has this here. This is the cover that we're gonna ultimately roll everything into. Okay, so squish it out, try to get all the air out. And on this end, I want to kind of get everything from that side because the slope is definitely pushing everything down. Just gonna roll it up like you would a just a plain old sleeping bag. Let me know about your sleeping bag setup. I'd like to know how you camp. And if you have questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I will put links to everything that I showed you and there's a chipmunk or something out here. So I'm about ready to go. Talk to you later. Bye guys. Little critters.